All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're back for more Discord voice chat tutorials talking about streamer mode. What exactly is streamer mode and why does it exist? Well, the simple answer is when people are streaming games, they sometimes like to jump between multiple games in one single stream without having to stop their streaming application like OBS or Streamlabs or whatever they're using. Instead, they prefer to just close the game, leave OBS running, switch to a desktop view while they wait for the next application to load. And sometimes in that crossover, when you're using programs like Discord, some of your personal information can be revealed. A good example of that is if you go into your user settings in your Discord while you watch this, and you go down to the lower left hand corner and click on user settings, here at the top of your account, is your account name, mine's Larry Chupacabra, and also your email. And sometimes people have their personal email in here and they don't necessarily want everyone to see it. In fact, I can just disable my streamer mode and you can just see what's in here. Because everything here that I have is actually public already, so I'm not too worried. So here you can see it's got my username, what my username number is in case someone wants to friend me. It's also got my email, which you can already see on both of my channels. So it's easy to take this information and try to spam the ever-loving crap out of somebody else. And not a lot of people necessarily want this information to leak out onto the web because it's personal and it's just easier if this stuff is automatically hidden. So what streamer mode allows you to do is enable this and then whenever you go to different portions of your account that you shouldn't be able to see, it'll do things like hide it behind the streamer mode and just say, hey, this is enabled. You can't see this because you have a streaming application currently turned on on your system. And that's what a couple of the other things that allows you to do. It just automatically enables or disables it if it detects that OBS or XSplit are running on your machine, which is very nice. I like to leave that on when I'm making these tutorials. It hides your personal information, like your Discord tags and your emails. It also do things like hide your instant invite links. That way someone can't just pause your stream, see what the code is to try and join your friend's server, and everyone attempts to raid the server and be really spammy and annoying all at the same time. It also allows you to disable certain sounds from being played while you have your OBS running so you don't have a lot of really annoying ping noises ruining your broadcast. And it also disables any annoying notifications which might do things like minimize the game you're playing, which I personally think is a lot of very important utility because, let's be honest, streaming is kind of synonymous with gaming anymore, or even just recording for places like YouTube. And this is where you find all of that stuff, adjust it, turn it on and off, and go from there. You can also, if you go to your key binding section, and you add a key binding, you can actually make a toggle button to enable or disable streamer mode as you go. Me personally, because I typically set up to stream or record and then turn it all off afterwards, I don't really have to do that at the drop of a pin or at the flip of a hat, but you can certainly set that up to use it at your leisure because maybe you like to just use everything on your computer based around key bindings. So you hit a couple of buttons, it opens up OBS and starts streaming. You're gonna hit another couple of buttons to turn streamer mode on and go about your afternoon uh, streaming to all of the masses that are so craving your entertainment. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This is kind of a who's who and a what's what of how streamer mode works and how to adjust all the settings and why. I hope you found this helpful. And until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe, throw your questions in the comment section below, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody.